I never thought I'd be saying this, but Meghan Markle is a pretty good actress. I'm not going to sit here and say that she would have been on the crux of winning an Oscar had she not married Harry, but I was really impressed with her performance in When Sparks Fly. I am a very big Hallmark film fan. They are my guilty pleasure, if you like. And I decided to watch When Sparks Fly, basically because it's on the Hallmark channel on Amazon Prime. And I've been meaning to watch one of Meghan Markle's films. I haven't seen her in anything else. Obviously, I've seen the odd clip here and there. They've been impossible to avoid over the last few years. But this is kind of my first look at her acting. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this film. I really enjoyed her performance and her character. And also the character's name, which is Amy. Just throwing that out there. Great name choice. So I will say, while I am not her biggest fan, I will say that as an actor, she is pretty decent. The film was released in 2014, directed by Gary Yates, written by Carol Starr Schneider, and it's a pretty basic blueprint for a Hallmark film. You have a romance and certain pitfalls that may get in the way of that romance. But it's actually a little bit different because it's not the usual boy meets girl, boy falls in love with girl, girl doesn't know what to do. With this one, our protagonist Amy, played of course by Meghan Markle, is actually going back to her hometown for the 4th of July to write an article about her family's um, fireworks business. They are in charge of the 4th of July fireworks every year. And while she is um, getting ready to go back, she also learns that her best friend Sammy is getting married to Hank. And Hank was Amy's, what, what I get the impression is a really long-term boyfriend. So Amy's best friend is getting married to Amy's former partner. And she's alright with that. Or so she thinks. There are going to be complications with emotions and feelings, but she's also dating somebody else. Who will she end up with at the end of the film? Who is going to be better off? What is going to happen to this wedding that is currently being planned? There are so many questions, and I will say, yeah, it's kind of predictable. There were a few surprises along the way. I wasn't sure how certain conflicts would be resolved. I wasn't sure which characters would reveal their true feelings first. But ultimately, you can watch this with the comfort of comfortable knowledge that you will get a Hallmark film. It is cosy, it is warm, it's inviting, it's loving, it's sweet. A little bit dramatic at times just to keep the narrative moving. And it's really exactly what I love about Hallmark films. Cheesy, cliche, and a whole lot of fun. And I absolutely adored it. The costumes are amazing. I don't want to spoil it too much, but at the very, very end, like literally one of the last few frames, Sammy has a particular costume on. Um, it's the costume with the hat. You'll know exactly which one I mean. And it is incredible. And I absolutely loved it. There are some beautiful costumes in this. A lot of red, white and blue, as you can imagine. And I, I, I loved seeing how they kind of... I'm not going to say what happened with the wedding or their um, engagement, but I loved kind of the planning aspect of it and all of the time, the ways they were incorporating incorporating the red white and blue it, it's beautiful now I'm speaking as a non-American um, so I find it kind of extra fascinating I can't ever imagine somebody having a red white and blue British wedding to this extreme I'm very proud to be British but it, we most Britons don't hold their pride the way Americans do so it's really admirable and absolutely an absolute joy to watch I really like the soundtrack as well there was one moment Annoyingly, I can't remember when it was, but there was this kind of airy, tinkly music, to use what I'm sure are the technical terms, and it was just so gorgeous. Unfortunately, I didn't make a note of what scene it was, but hopefully you'll you'll clock that and uh, enjoy that too. So the narrative was really good. Amy is a character I really liked. I enjoyed Meghan Markle's performance. I really liked Christina Pesek's performance. Hope that's how you pronounce her surname as sammy the best friend but i really did not like that character she really annoyed me a lot there was just something about her that just didn't sit right with me but beyond that when sparks fly was a lot better than i expected 
I won't say it's my favourite Hallmark film because it definitely isn't. Not that I know what my favourite one is, but from start to finish, I, I really liked it. I forgot I was watching Meghan Markle a lot of the time. And I, much against what I had perhaps predicted, I really thoroughly recommend it.